Is Central Illinois equipped to take President Biden up on his double cropping plan in an effort to fight inflation? The Biden administration plans to increase insurance eligibility for farmers to take on double the crop this year. The president shared his proposal at a farm in Kankakee Wednesday, and tonight we're taking a look at whether farmers and the local supply chain could actually take that on. For 11 weeks now, the bread basket of Eastern Europe has been under siege by Russian forces, slowing production of the world's staple crops. Right now, America is fighting on two fronts. At home, it's inflation and rising prices. Abroad, it's helping Ukrainians defend their democracy and feeding those who are left hungry. The USDA says the country planted more than 15 million acres of wheat last winter. By contrast, I've got 35 acres and I might be the second largest wheat producer in the county. Jim Goss is standing in his wheat field at more experimental Clearview Farms. This is the second year he's given double cropping a go. We see this, this Clearview Farm as being the potential future of agriculture. The sheer scale of this farm makes risk a bit more manageable. Goss says the average farmer around here could manage the labor side of double cropping. The more difficult part is probably the equipment. Um, not everybody in Champaign County's got a grain drill. Wheat lost favor in Champaign County a number of years ago because of lack of markets. Goss says even if farmers succeed in producing wheat, the county doesn't appear to have enough grain elevators to send it off to. We really only have one or two locations, so it, it becomes a little bit of a challenge for us to find the market. And then there's exporting the crop to those who were going hungry after fertile farmland became a battleground. Does the supply chain really have the ability, if we increase our production here, to feed people across the world? Well, so, so let's, let's talk a little bit about logistics. This we will get harvested in July. Best case scenario, can you, can you really get it to Ukraine much before November? I mean, I think that's, that's mostly realistic, so yes. Again, this isn't as high a quality a weed as what they grow in the Ukraine. Nagos says central Illinois farmers are already an average of two weeks behind due to the weather, although he says the selling price for a bushel of wheat doubled last year from the three years prior, so if everything lines up theoretically, the profit might be worth that risk. Kevin, I was sweating out there. I mean, yeah. it just feels like... Summer. Yeah, a little early for that. Yeah, I would say about uh, about six weeks.